Well, hello folks. This is the introductory video for CSCI 265 Software Engineering. Um, kind of our preliminary plan. This is pretty much going to be the uh, the administrative side of how things are going to work. So we'll talk about assessment, we'll talk about where to find the resources, we'll talk about how labs and projects and all that kind of thing are going to work for this particular course, this particular term in the weird and wonderful world of COVID. Um, I'm Dave Wessels, so I'm the instructor for the course. Um, essentially what I'm going to do is run through some of the contact information and resource information first and then we'll get into talking about the rest of it. Um, I've had a bit of a look through the course roster and it looks like I know about half of you. I'm looking forward to getting to, I guess, virtually meet the other, other half of you. So we'll see how things go here. However, I am gonna get rid of the talking head down in the corner here because it distracts me. So the idea is um, we've got three sections of the course. If you hadn't uh, picked up on that earlier, an extra section was added. So if you're on the wait list and there's free space in the extra open session, please make sure you jump ahead and uh, grab one of those slots. Uh, I'm Dave Wessels. Uh, email address is david.wessels at viu.ca. And the URL for the course material is csci.viu.ca tilde Wessels D courses CSCI 265. If you hit that URL, you'll find one great big long web page that's got links to just about everything we'll wind up using this term. Uh, well, almost, not quite. So this is what it would look like. Um, up at the top, there's quick links to, well, the welcome letter that went out to the people who were registered at the uh, start of June, um, outline, announcements, all that sort of thing. Most of those will jump you around within this page. and. What we're going to do today is run through just some of the basics of all this. So if you have a scroll through, you'll find all sorts of blather and all sorts of links to slides and lecture material. And somewhere down the bottom, you'll find links to um, the lab descriptions and project descriptions. And eventually there'll be links in here for all the different videos for the labs and whatnot as well. So as you've probably gathered from that, we'll be doing a, a lot of video as well as some Zoom sessions for the course. Um, all of the assessment in terms of quizzes and exams will be run through VIU Learn. Um, I'll also be posting some material there, things like the uh, any recorded Zoom sessions will post on VIU Learn. All of the uh, lecture material will go up on ViewTube and I'll probably post that on YouTube as well, although not the Zoom sessions. Uh, you'll see the course outline somewhere off that page as well. So again, that's got the official version of all the stuff that I'm babbling about in this particular video. So the video will take the informal approach, but if you want all the gory details and nuts and bolts, it's all in the course outline, as I'm sure you're used to by now. So what have we got going on? In terms of delivery, obviously we've got nothing that's face-to-face -face this term, right? Everything's going to be online. So the material for lectures and for labs will be posted as YouTube or YouTube videos. Um, I'm assuming that if you're watching this one, you've figured out how to get access to those. Uh, what I will also do is run some Zoom question and answer sessions at the start of every scheduled lab block and at the start of every scheduled lecture for the course. So I'll take like 15 minutes at the start and just everybody that's got questions can pop in, um, ask questions about any of the videos for that particular lecture or for that particular lab, and we'll take it from there. And then what I'll do with the rest of the lab and lecture time is I'll just use that for individual, basically short meetings with anybody that wants to Zoom and talk about the lecture material or the lab material, uh, just email me to book a time. And again, we'll just take that in 10 minute slots as we go. Um, if you want to use email, by all means, you know, fire that to me instead if you're not crazy about uh, Zoom. Or if you want to use Discord, um, again, feel free to use that. I'll post the details on that as we get a little closer to the start of the term. 
And for the Zoom material, I'll send out the meeting IDs to everybody and passwords and whatnot. And I'll probably also post those on VIU Learn in the CSCI 265 material. All right, in terms of assessment, everybody's favorite part. So this year is going to run a little bit differently than 265 in the past. Uh, we're running with, instead of a midterm, I'm going with a set of quizzes. So more or less every two weeks, we'll have a quiz run through VIU Learn. So your best five quizzes out of six will, uh, will count for 35% of your mark. Um, and again, the idea is since we're doing things online this time around, I just wanted to make sure that people are actually staying on top of the lecture material and they're having a chance to get feedback on it as the term rolls along. So again, those will be roughly every two weeks. We'll uh, run one quiz. Those will go on a Friday. What I'll do is set up sort of an eight hour window on VIU Learn and, you know, somewhere in there you can take one hour to uh, um, go through the quiz. And then for the final exam, it'll be 25% of your overall mark. Um, again, it'll be a three hour exam, but we'll set up an eight hour window so you can take it somewhere during that eight hour block. There is a fairly significant project for the course. And the way it's going to work is the labs are going to be part of that project. So each of the labs will be doing something working towards the, the bigger end goal for the project. Uh, so your best five of six labs will count for 30% of your overall mark. And then your final submission of the project will count for an additional 10%. So that'll be 40% of your final grade. And the way this is all going to work is I'm going to post Git repositories of all of the project material. I'll post web summaries of the specifications for the project, what you're supposed to be doing, as well as uh, videos and web pages for each of the individual labs to discuss what I expect you to be doing. You're going to be using a whole slew of different tools for this. Um, SSH, Git, C++, Bash, Make, uh, GDB for debugging, Gprof for profiling. So we'll wind up working with a lot of these. And again, we'll go through as the term winds along to give you a description of what's happening with each of them. So all the details will come later, but that is the, the quick version of what's going to happen. A uh, couple of things to note, you must pass the final exam, you must pass the project to pass the course. In terms of the schedule, again, I'll try and make sure that all of the videos and all of the web material is posted well in advance, um, you know, at, at least a, a couple of weeks in advance of each of the different uh, portions of the course. And then for each scheduled lab and lecture time, I'll just set aside 15 minutes at the top for a Zoom question and answer session where everybody can join in, and then individual sessions. So the scheduled times for the lectures are, I believe, Monday and Wednesday at 1 and Friday at 1.30. So those will the times be the times when we start the Q&A sessions. And then for the labs, uh, we've got the three lab blocks at 10.30 on Wednesday, 9.30 and 10.30 on Friday. So again, for each of those, I'll have only a 10 minute or 15 minute Zoom window at the beginning. The quizzes will be Fridays, as I mentioned before, roughly every two weeks. Uh, oh, actually, on the labs, while I think about it, the labs start in the second week of class. So that first week, they're usually still busy trying to get accounts for everybody as they register and deregister. So the labs will begin in the second week, not the first. Uh, let's see, quizzes will run Fridays roughly every two weeks. And again, I'll post more details on those, um, all taken through VIU Learn. And we'll get into all the gory details later in another video. And of course, all the times are based on the um, time in Nanaimo. I know we've got folks scattered all over the world. So that's the only reason for the disclaimer there. Um, in terms of getting into the course, so I know some of you are still on the wait list and some of you have questions about prerequisites. So the requirement for a C in 161 is a hard requirement, right? We've got lots more people than we've got space for. So um, this one is hard and fast. If you don't have the C in 161, I will have you dropped off the, the course list. 
Um, and since the lab deadlines and project deadlines and quiz times are all completely independent of your section, it doesn't really matter which one you register in. So if you see space in another section when you're on the waitlist for one, you know, feel free to jump over and grab that. I do have the ability to add up to 10 extra students to the course overall. So I will, uh, I will go ahead and do that as long as the students have the prerequisites for the course. So I think we should get everyone in. Um, everybody that's got the prerequisites, we should be able to pull that off. Uh, more details on that as we get a little closer. And then, of course, the other fun and wonderful part is what is this course actually about? So the idea is it's a software engineering course. We're trying to take the next step in this course, right? Most of what you've done so far in first year has been short, individual, one-off programming assignments. We want to start looking at something much larger, much more significant, where you've got lots of people involved, you've got something that's around for a long period of time, something that requires a lot of forethought, a lot of design. And so this is where we want to go with the course. So if you take a look at the course outline, somewhere down there, uh, let's see, where are we? Babble, 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 babble. Somewhere down there you'll find a topics list, and this gives you a pretty good idea of some of the different things that we're going to take a look at. All right, we'll spend some time making sure that folks are up to speed on Linux and the programming environment that we're going to be using. And then we'll talk about software process development models. We'll go through um, introductions to programming large projects as opposed to small individual ones. We'll take a look at some of the tools and processes like version control, um, shell programming and automation. We'll look at automating builds of software projects. Uh, we'll look at some of the software design principles. Uh, we'll look at redesign and refactoring, debugging strat strategies, uh, good coding practices, testing and validation, code inspections, um, lots of time spent on testing and automation of testing and coming up with our own tools to do that. So there are going to be a lot of different topics that we hit in short bursts. And what I'm going to try and do is, you know, we'll talk about this stuff, the theory of it in the, the lecture videos and in the Zoom question and answer sessions. And then we'll try and apply each of these different things to the course project that we're tackling you know as the different labs go along and as we work towards the final overall goal okay that might be where i leave it for this particular video again in the next one we'll start getting into more about the actual course material um, if you've got questions please feel free to contact me if there's things you want to know you know email me um, fire me a, a message on Discord, whatever it happens to be, ask for a Zoom meeting. Uh, I'm happy to set all this stuff up and hopefully things will go well. Hopefully we can have a, a fairly smooth term in spite of the rather strange delivery method where you get to see my uh, maybe less than stellar office here, but uh, we'll see how things go as the term progresses. So hope it's a good term. Bye folks.